Hello there and welcome to my review of the Aperture Fresnel 2X. Now in this review I'll be comparing it to the original Fresnel and talking about all the issues I had with the first one and how they've managed to fix it in the 2X. So what the Fresnel does is it takes the 120 degree really wide beam angle that these lights produce and it focuses it into a narrow beam between 12 and 40 degrees depending on how spotted or flooded it is. So this gives you a lot more output, which is really great if you're using it as a backlight or if you want to maybe make a beam of light with it or get a really, really hard source. So first thing I want to talk to you about the original Fresnel aperture came out with and the few little issues I had, which is why it didn't quite come with me on set as much as I'd have liked it to. So firstly, the build quality, while okay, is nothing amazing. It feels a bit plasticky besides the glass at the front, so it feels like it wouldn't stand up to so much abuse on set. Now the way this focuses is you unscrew this knob and then it's just a push and pull method to focus. Now this is okay, but if you want to really get a precise amount of spot or flood, then it's always a little bit awkward because it's not the most smooth thing. It's a little bit stiff, it kind of gets stuck at either end a bit and you need a bit of force to do it. So it's okay, but it's not amazing. Now, now that it is spotted, you can actually see there's also quite a bit of light bleed around the edges. Now this isn't usually a big deal on set because often this will be a backlight or it's not really going to affect the room around you too much, but sometimes it's annoying if you've hazed up the room you might sort of see beams of light coming out of the sides of it through all the little gaps, which isn't ideal and that's a very specific case and you can totally just black wrap it and fix it, but it's annoying, it's not, it's not perfect. The other thing is this doesn't come with a carrying case. So I always had to try and fit it into some other bag that I had with me on set. It was never ideal to carry around. And especially because the build quality isn't so high, you want it to be sort of kept somewhere fairly safe. It would have been nice if it had its own case. So those are the little issues I had with the first one, though it's still a cool product. Now the Fresnel 2X on the other hand manages to fix all of these issues. So the build quality is much, much better. It feels much more solid and robust and it focuses by this helicoid system. So you actually just rotate it like you would on the barrel of a lens to focus it. And that works really well because you can get the exact precise beam that you want. There's also no light bleed around the edge. Let me just fully spot it. So you can actually see there's no gaps at all around the edge. There's still vents on it because it still needs to cool down somehow, but the vents now are on the back and they're designed in such a way that you never get any direct lights filling. Now the other thing is this is way way brighter than the first one. So although the first one wasn't bad, let me just uh, take this off. The second one, you can actually see it's got this glass element inside it. So as well as the Fresnel at the front, you actually are focusing the light even further, which makes it much much brighter than the original. We're going to get readings later, don't worry, so we'll see exactly how much brighter it is but that's a really awesome feature. The other really cool thing is this now comes with this nice little carrying case. I was hoping I'd catch it like that, but I didn't. Anyway, it's a really nice padded case, which fits the Fresnel perfectly. It's got a nice handle for carrying it around, which is awesome as well. So this is really nice because it means it's easy to just bring this with you wherever you go. There's no issues carrying it around. So next we're going to compare the output of the two different Fresnels. So I look like I'm in some kind of cool dream sequence right now, but bear with me. I've got my uh, trusty light meter here, so we'll compare the uh, the two different Fresnels, see how much price the 2X really is. So uh, firstly, let me turn that guy off. And these are currently about a meter away from the backdrop. They are using the 300X lights, both at 4300 Kelvin, both 100%. Uh, this in the center of the beam here, we are getting about 44,000 lux, which is pretty good. But if I go around to the edges of the beam, that goes down to more like 33,000 lux. So there's a bit of a difference there. So this is also fully flooded at the moment. So you can see in the center of the beam, we're getting 47,000 lux, so a huge amount brighter, but we're actually getting pretty much the same even on the edges. So now they're both fully spotted and that's where we're going to see the biggest difference when we compare them. So let me turn off the Fresnel 2X for now. With the original Fresnel, right in the center of the spot, again at about a meter, we're getting roughly 70,000 lux there on the light meter, which is pretty good. It's a pretty high output. But if I show you now the Fresnel 2X, so that goes off, Fresnel 2X is on. Again, fully spotted at 12 degrees. We are now getting a massive 110,000 lux. So a massive improvement, almost double what we're getting out of the original Fresnel. 
So it really does stand up to the 2X name. It is pretty much twice as bright, which is absolutely awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you found it interesting. If not interesting, at least hopefully enjoyable. And at least it killed a bit of time if you didn't even find it enjoyable. So that about brings me to the end of my review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting or learned something. Or if not, at least hopefully you found it enjoyable and killed a few minutes of your day. So as I mentioned before, the Fresnel 2X absolutely kills the original Fresnel. For me, it's a no-brainer to buy the newer version because it's so much better. As always, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. I will continue my little dream sequence over here. Have a good day. Bye, guys.